question number 13 find the value of x y and z from the following figures so we have a six question and here we have to find out the value of x y z let's take a start number a so you can see here we have a diagram and this is isolated triangle f g f e g is isolated triangle the, you can see here sides also equal it means x and y also equal so x is equal to y we can write reason e f is equal to e g these two sides are equal it means these two angles also equal base angle are equal of isolated triangle also reason you can write on base angle these two are base angle base angle of an isolated triangle now this is a sign of 90 degree so you can see here in this triangle only in triangle e H G in this triangle nine y plus 90 plus 30 so we can write y plus 90 plus 30 is equal to 180 degree reason the sum of angle of the triangle here is y here is 90 and here is 30 so when you add these three angles we get 180 degree reason the sum of angle of the triangle y plus when you add these two terms we get here 120 is equal to 180 these two are unlike terms so 120 we have to take right side y is equal to 180 minus 120 and y get here 60 degree if y is equal to 60 degree definitely x also 60 because we let here x is equal to y therefore we can write x is equal to y is equal to 60 degree is the answer i hope you understand this question number 13a now look at question number b you can see here again these two sides are equal it means b e c or c b e is a isolated triangle this is a isolated triangle isolated triangle means base angle also equal if two sides are equal base angle also equal so we can write x is equal to y reason we can write b c is equal to b e this b c and b e both are equal or you can write on here base angles of an isolated triangle you can write anything after that you can see here uh, 120 is given here it means we can let anything here suppose here we let a small a so what we can write a plus 120 is equal to 180 degree reason being a straight angle or a straight line you can see this is a straight angle or a straight line we can say a plus 120 is equal to 180 degree now from here we have to find out value of a a is equal to 180 minus 120 and we get value of a is equal to 60 degree now we have to find out x y as well as z so x and y both are equal now when you add these three terms we get 180 degree sum of angle of the triangle so we can write here in triangle b c e b c e in this triangle okay a plus x plus y so we can write x plus y plus a is equal to 180 degree reason same the sum of angle of the triangle what is the value of x here you we can write x is equal to y so x plus in the place of y in the place of y we have to write on x we have to write on x and here value of a is equal to 60 so we have to write 60 is equal to 180 x plus s when you add both we get 2x is equal to 60 we have to take right side 180 minus 60 and 2x is equal to when you subtract we get 120 degree this in multiplication so we have to divide x is equal to 120 by 2 and therefore x is equal to we get here 60 degree we let here uh, we uh, already shown here x and y both are equal because of isolated triangle so we can write x is is equal to y is equal to 60 degree now we have to find out the value of z also you can see here y is equal y plus z is equal to 180 degree reason same being straight angle or straight line you can see y plus z is equal to 180 degree so we can write here y plus z is equal to 180 degree reason being straight angle or straight line you have to write on y what is the value of y 60 so we have to write 60 plus z is equal to 180 degree z is equal to 180 minus 60 and when you subtract we get 120 degree so value of z is equal to 120 hope you understand this video now look at this question now look at question number c here we have to find out the value of x y z so you can see here here is x here is y here is z 
so x easily we can find out x plus 60 is equal to 180 degrees so being straight angle or straight line we can write down so we have to write here x plus 60 is equal to 180 degree reason being straight angle or being straight line you can write so x is equal to 180 minus 60 degree and when you subtract we get here 120 degree so x is equal to we get 120 degree after that to let's find out value of y so x is equal to 45 plus y we can write down x is equal to 45 plus y the reason exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angle of the triangle exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angle of the triangle this one is outside and this both angle uh, were inside of triangle so reason we have to write x is equal to what here 120 is equal to 45 plus y these two are unlike terms so we have to subtract so 120 when you take this 45 this side so we have to write minus 45 is equal to y now we have to subtract y is equal to 120 minus 45 we get 75 so y is equal to we have to write here 75 hope you understand this one how to find out value of y now we have to find out value of z z y plus z is equal to 180 degree we can write on being straight angle or straight line you can see here this is a straight so y plus z let's write on here y plus z is equal to 180 degree being a straight angle or a straight line reason we have to write down it's necessary so what is the value of y 75 so we have to write here 75 plus z is equal to 180 degree z is equal to 180 minus 75 z is equal to now let's subtract 180 minus 75 and we we get here 105 so we can write here z is equal to 105 so therefore what is the value of x 120 value of y is equal to 75 and value of z is equal to 105 is the answer hope you understand this question number c now look at question number d it's very simple to find out value of x you can see here these two lines also parallel if parallel then very nice easily we can find out value of x x is equal to 38 so we can write here x is equal to 38 degree being alternate angle reason you have to write on being alternate angle similarly to find out z z is equal to 42 reason same being alternate angle you can say this is in the form of z so we can write z is equal to 42 degree reason same being alternate angle okay to here after this to find out value of y we can do like this y plus z plus 38 in this triangle or we can write here in triangle a b c y plus z plus 38 is equal to 180 degree reason the sum of angle of the triangle we have to write down so y plus z plus 38 is equal to 180 degree what is the value of z 42 so we have to write here 42 y plus 42 plus 38 is equal to 180 y plus now let's add 8 plus 2 10 0 and here 4 plus 4 8 is equal to 180 y is equal to this to our unlike term so 80 we have to take right side so we can write here 180 minus 80 therefore we get y is equal to 100 degree so what is the value of x here x is equal to 38 y is equal to 100 and z is equal to 42 hope you understand this question number d now look at question number e as well as f question number e you can see here these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel it means we can write x is equal to 60 x is equal to 60 if parallel then only we can write down otherwise we cannot reason being corresponding angle being corresponding angle because one angle is inside one is outside of these two parallel lines one angle inside one is outside of these two parallel line so being corresponding angle similarly you can see here these two are parallel it means y is equal to 65 we can write this is in the form of z so we can write y is equal to 65 reason being alternate angle be in alternate angle this two are alternate angle relation of these two are alternate one angle is left side one is right side of this 
uh, line okay so bean alternate okay we have value of x also we got value of y also we got now we have to find our value of z so you can see here y plus z plus 60 is equal to 180 degree so we can write y plus z plus 60 is equal to 180 degree reason the sum of angle of the triangle y we have to write down here 65 plus z plus 60 is equal to 180 so z plus when you add we get here 120 5 is equal to 180 these two are unlike term so we have to take a right side so 180 minus 125 therefore z is equal to when you subtract we get here 55 5 plus 10 5 6 7 8 yeah 55 degree so therefore the value of x is equal to how much we got here 60 degree value of y is equal to we have 65 and the value of z is equal to 55 degree hope you understand this question number e now look at last question number f question number f okay you can see here also same these two lines are parallel it means this and this are equal alternate y is equal to 2x plus 5 this and this angle also equal being alternate then this plus this plus this is equal to 180 degree being a straight angle we can write now let's write down y is equal to this y is equal to 2x plus 5 reason being alternate angle you can write on after that z is equal to this so we can write z is equal to 2x minus 5 reason same being alternate angle this and this angle are equal being alternate y is equal to this these two are also alternate angle after that when you add this three angle we get 180 degree so we can write z plus x plus y is equal to 180 degree reason the sum of angle of the triangle z what is the value of z here z means 2x minus 5 plus x we have to write x only and what is the value of y here 2x plus 5 is equal to 180 degree now we have to add like terms here 2x here x 3x plus 2 5x so we can write here 5x here negative 5 here positive 5 so we can reduce 5 minus 5 0 so we can write um, uh, just 0 or leave it that no need to write just write on 5x is equal to 180 this in multiplication so we have to divide x is equal to 180 by 5 therefore what is the value of x now we have to divide this 5 is a 5 5 3 is a 15 35 6 are 30 so we get here 36 degree so value of x is equal to 36 degree now we have to find out value of y also y we have to find out value of z also y is equal to what is here 2x plus 5 so 2x plus 5 now put the value 2 into 36 plus 5 uh, 36 into 272 plus 5 we get here 77 degree similarly z is equal to what we have z is equal to 2x minus 5 so we have to write here 2x minus 5 2 into value of x is equal to 36 minus 5 let's calculate 36 into 272 minus 5 we get here 67 degree so value of x is equal to 36 value of y is 77 and value of z is equal to 67 hope you understand this video related with uh, triangles geometry if you understand please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos thanks for watching till last keep supporting and keep sharing